All right, welcome to class. Today we're starting in a seated position in my sleep space. So, crossing one leg in front of the other, have a little wee wriggles. You're sitting evenly on both sitting bones. And just take a moment to drop in, fidget a little bit, and eventually start to find stillness in your pose, calming down, settling in. Starting to reduce your awareness into the space. Feeling into your body, feeling the arrangement, the alignment of your posture. Anything that you notice, maybe some tightness somewhere in your body, something that you're holding on to, maybe tightness around the hips. Taking a scan throughout your entire body. To get a sense of sitting tall, lifting through the crown of the head, but at the same time you want a general feeling of ease in your pose, so we're not really stiff here. There's a sense of broadness across the chest, length up and down the spine. Little softness around the belly, so there's space to breathe. Getting shoulders fall away from ears, so that's where we can start to notice those little tendencies if we're creeping shoulders up towards the ears or a bit of tightness around the neck. And you allow your chest to soften and around the rib cage. And as we drop into this pose, start to bring awareness to your breath. As we start to calm and settle now, you might find that the breath begins to lengthen. Might deepen, start to shift into a different area of your body. So we'll start with the awareness. Where is it that you notice your breath the most? Is it centered in the, up around your face, your nose, mouth? Is it more around the throat or the base of the throat? You feel it rising into the chest. And you feel your breath moving all the way down into your abdomen or even into the lower back area. Maybe that's not for you today. Maybe you feel the breath quite high up in your body. Or maybe you want to explore inviting the breath deeper. There's a certain level of acceptance, accepting wherever you're at today. Or if you're in the mood for it, you might be inviting exploration to see how it could feel different in your body and to find what feels best for you. Notice the way your body responds to each breath. It could be a sense of expansion, maybe a slight rise, and a feeling of settling in, grounding with each heart breath. Everything draws back to center. And also, while we're here, notice anything that's pulling your attention that feels, you know, just a little tight or just wanting some attention today. Taking another breath in, and this time with your out breath, tip your chin down towards your chest. Just rest here a moment, lengthening out the back of your neck, noticing if anything feels particularly tight. You might get a bit of a pulling sensation down into your back. And then we'll lift chin up towards the ceiling, lengthen the front of the neck. Just tip back to wherever it feels good. 
might be just a very small movement if you're a bit stiff or you might be exploring something a bit bigger. You might even hold on to your knees if you need a bit of support. Okay, we're gonna go down again, move with an out breath. Think about keeping your nose in a straight line as you come down. So we're not tipping the head. And then with the breath in, we'll lift. Stay for the out breath. And then another breath in. And as we breathe out, tipping down again, so your nose traces a straight line down. Hold for another round of breath. And then when you're ready, rise again. And return to a natural position, somewhere in between. You can keep your eyes closed or stuff on your eye gaze, but I encourage you to close your eyes so you can kind of feel the arrangement of your body from the inside out. Okay, and we want that feeling of keeping the jawline level with the ground so we're not tipping down or tipping up. But you might find that your chin naturally sticks forward a little. So could we just slightly draw the jawline back towards your throat? In fact, let's do that. We'll draw the jawline back further than it needs to be, and then find a place to reset. So that, that creates a sense of lengthening up the back of the neck. Staying for a breath. Okay, and then keeping your jawline level with the ground, just going to turn the head. So, turning, if your eyes are open, you're looking past your shoulder. Notice if the opposite shoulder tries to creep forward, let's keep that relaxed. And then around to the other side, so just take your time. See if you could keep your jaw at that same level as you come around to the other side. And one side might feel a bit freer than the other. Could be a bit of tightness more on one side as you do. Come around to the first side again. All the way around. Notice how your body responds if there's any kind of pulling or resistance. And then around to the other side again. Coming back to a neutral position. Notice in this neutral position if your chin has crept forward again, and whether you just want to very slightly pull it back towards your throat, so the back of the neck is long. And this time we're tipping one ear towards one shoulder. So it may not seem like it comes very far. Just feel what's going on in your neck, if there's any limitation, any restriction here. Just holding as you are, one ear pointing towards the shoulder. But in this position, notice if you compensate it somewhere else in the body, so it feels like you're kind of slouching into your pose now. And we maintain that length all the way up your spine. And then we'll come over to the other side, so it's coming through upright. And then tip the other ear towards your shoulder. You might get a bit of pulling down the side of the neck or into the shoulder or down the back, so it's for everyone. Maybe you don't feel a lot, or get a lot of feedback, it's fine too. Coming to the first side again, I feel good to breathe in as you lengthen through centre, and to breathe out as you tip the air across. And over to the other side again, I breathe in through centre, and a breath out to tip the air. Coming back through centre, keeping eyes closed and just let everything reset. You can make any adjustments if you need or want to or feel that you need to. Finding that neutral position. We're going to grow the root a little bit bigger, so you can open your eyes if you want to, or if you can close, it's your choice. Bring one hand behind, and we're going to turn through the middle of the spine. So you look back, up back, 
and around the neck. So let the other shoulder fall away. This time you can turn the head further around. Notice if you start to grip around, like a groin, somewhere around the hips, and find the ease in your pose. Stay for another breath. And then we'll pass through center, hands onto the knees, and come to the other side. So the hand comes around. Think about rotating through the middle of your torso, so we're not twisting around the hips or lower back. It's more around the middle, sharp of that. And the head. We come around to the first side again. Take a breath in, and a breath out as we rotate. Breath in through center. Breath out, chin. And then facing front, one hand to each knee. On top of each knee, I should say. Tip one ear towards one shoulder. Just stay there a moment. And then the opposite arm, so the side you're not looking to, reaches up towards the ceiling. Just pause here a moment. Really lengthen all the way up, lengthen up through the side body. Keep your feet where it is, and then push your hand out wide, just really slowly. And all the way down. Coming back through center. So upright first, and then tip there towards shoulder. Take a breath, so feel into the pose first. And then reach um, up. Pause for a moment to feel the length. And then push the arms slowly away, keeping the feet where it is. We'll do that one more time on each side. So the centre and then to the other side. Let's see if we can do it a bit slower this time. So really feel, they might even close your eyes again just to really feel it. So slowly extend the arm away from you. Might be to stretch up the arm or into the side of the neck. That's good. And then through centre when you're ready, to the other side, extend. And open. Let's take a shine. And then reset into a neutral position. Switch your legs over so the other non-dominant leg is in front. You're not going to get it too much longer, but just cupping hands onto knees. And this time we're going to pull in through the belly and round out through your spine. Broaden into the back of the body. And then lift your chest, lift your chin. Lengthen up the front line of the body, tip your head to wherever it feels good, to the back, I should say. Let's do that again. So curl and round out, breathe into the space of your back body. And then lift and lengthen, lift the center of your chest. Okay, and release. Bring your hands behind you and bring your knees up feet to the floor, then drop your knees over to one side. And keep rolling the hips over, driving your knee down into the floor. Just think about where your head wants to be in this pose as well. So make sure you're not shrinking into the pose, you will lift and lengthen, and just kind of have a play, see where your head wants to be. And then come over to the other side. So rolling the hip across, Checking with the neck. So, obviously, obviously, it's a bit of a theme of the day, is really paying attention to the position of your head. Come to the first side again, drop the knees across. And to the other side. Right, extend your legs in front and give a wee shake out. And then come over onto hands and knees. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, spread your fingers. 
All right, scoop your belly in, up towards your spine, rounding out into a cat pose, and then even through into a cow. So again, you may like to uh, close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that. We're going to keep moving through cat and cow at your own pace. But it just helps to bring your full awareness to the movement in your body and to the way that your, your body is arranged and aligned. And today we'll pay particular attention to the movement of the neck. So sometimes the head can get left behind when we're so focused on other areas of the body. I want you to really think about how the neck is an extension of your spine. So as we're curling and extending through the spine, notice how that action also moves in the neck. It's not so much about changing anything, you don't need to. It's really all about bringing awareness to how your body moves. So if there's a way that you think you could improve the movement of your neck, perhaps by drawing the jawline a little closer towards the throat so you're not leading the chin, it's really for you to explore and to find what feels right to you. We're just going to do a couple more rounds of our catch cow. And then eventually settle into a neutral position. So feeling for yourself what neutral means to you. You want that sense of aligning all the way up through the body, the tailbone to the crown of the head. Okay, and then lifting one hand, fingertips towards your temple, onto your temples, fingertips temples. Drive down into the bottom hand and let your elbow come out to the side like a wing so you can feel the shoulder blade activate, hugging into your upper back, your ribs. I'm going to rotate open and then extend your arm from there, keeping your elbow grips. Fingertips come to temple, slowly touch down, plant the hand and come to the other side. So fingertips to temple. So we're rotating through the middle and upper back and the middle through the neck. And then keeping the elbow nice and high, extend Lower arm from there. Fingertips to temple and slowly release. Plant the hand and switch to the first side again. So turn this smooth out, turn it over and extend. Make sure you're not dropping into the lower back so it would stay nice and aligned throughout the whole range of the movement. Fingertips to temple and touch down. To the other side. Fingers to temple. Extend, slowly reverse out of it, and lower back down. Hey, okay, bring your knees a bit wider, let's just take a little breather, big toes together, some hips back towards heels, and arms out stretched, elbows drop to the ground, forehead touches down. Just a couple of breaths here. Breathing into the back body, let your feet completely rest. And then when you're ready for it, let's come back up to our hands and knees. So bring the knees in again so they stack directly under your hips. And now extending opposite arm and leg, reach arm forward and leg back. So make sure that you don't drop through the middle in this pose. You don't have to bring your arm and leg any higher than your hips and shoulders. And slowly touch down, switch to the other side. So we're reaching forward and back. Try to keep the rest of your body really still. Good. And slowly touch down, come to the first side again. Okay. 
and touch down and to the other side. Passing through centre again. I'm just going to add on now. So actually, no, before we move, I just want you to notice where your head is. So for some people, they have a tendency to drop their head. If you're looking at your knees, then you know that you've dropped your head. So let's lift the back of the head. And also keep the abs slightly active. So there's a bit of tension there to help support your pose. And let's move again, opposite arm and leg. So reach up long. And this time we're going to bend around the side. So bending the elbow, keep it high, and the knee comes up around towards your elbow. Then extend again, nice and smooth, and touch down. So the smoother the better. Other side, extend. Make sure you're not dropping anything through the middle or the head. Then come around the side, keeping your knee and elbow as high as you can. Good. Extend out long and touch down. First side again. Come around, pulling in, extend, and lower. And one more time. Smooth. Leg in. Along. And touch down. All right, planting your hands, spread your fingers, set your position. So hopefully we're starting to kind of feel where that neutral position is so we can go straight there. Then tucking your toes under, both your knees off the ground, keeping everything else strong and still and lower knees until they're just off the ground. So they're just hovering off the ground. Stay strong. Now, if you can see your knees, you're probably dropping your head. So I go straight down to the ground, pull up through the back of the neck. Let's hold for another breath. <laughs> then send your hips high, plant down into hands and walk your dog. So walking your down dog pose, dropping one heel towards the ground, keeping the other knee. And you can exaggerate the movement if you wanted to. You might even twist through shoulders. Make the movement as big or as small as you like. Okay, now front out of down facing dog. Let's sit our position, spreading our fingers wide. Lengthen all the way up to the tailbone. Your knees can be bent as much as you need, depending on how tight your hamstrings are, especially, just so that we're not curving through the spine. Notice the position of your head. So again, we don't want to be dropping the crown of the head to the floor. We want to gently lift the back of the head until your ears are around about in the line of your biceps. So it's a pretty general guide. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different for everyone. So from our strong down facing dog, see your right leg high without twisting your hips. So keep your hips nice and square. And then shift forward, bring your knee up towards your chest. Extend the leg up high. And step the foot down, switch to the other side. So left leg lifts. Coming forward, knee up towards your chest. Extend and touch down. Come to the first side again, so sweep the leg up. Shifting forward, so think about keeping your whole body in alignment as we move through to the plank and up again to down the facing dog. Touch down and come to the other side. Coming forward, extend. And touch down. Let's take a little breather in child's pose. So it gives us a chance to mock the wrists for a bit. So that's where you're feeling a lot of effort, a lot of pressure. So wiggle your fingers, circle wrists, or even just massage your forearms, whatever you need. Okay, and then when you're ready for it, returning to your dumb dog. Plant the hands, rip into every finger, send your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Notice the position of your head 
and send your, mm, send your right leg up high. This time we're going to bend the knee and allow your hips to rotate open, but try and keep your shoulders level so the weight is evenly changed. Coming forward and the knee comes up around the side towards your elbow. Come again, sweep the leg up, rotate open. Now this time as we come forward, step your foot just beside your hand, all the way up into a lunge and add on a twist. So returning to face the thigh, sweep your arm up. I go use my follow and then the hand comes down. Sweep this front leg up and over to your three of your dog and then step down. Come to the other side, so the left leg lifts. Extend it up, bend the knee, rotate hips open. Keep the power in both hands. Come forward, knee towards elbow. Grip into every finger, shift your weight forward. And sweep the leg up and over. This time as we come forward, we're stepping just outside the hand. Try to bring it as far up as you can. And then add your twist. Hand comes down, step back and sweep the leg up and over. Okay, touch down and walk your feet up to your hands into a forward uh, fold. <laughs> so here we stop in the knees, let your whole body hang. You might hold on to your elbows, maybe sway from side to side. Okay, let your arms hang loose, lift from the navel and curl your way up to standing. So take as long as you like, curling your way up and you feel the way your body arranges itself, stacks upon itself. Then continue to float your arms up, hands touch at the top and bring them down to the centre. I can't make it up, so. All right, so from centre, just take a moment to kind of feel the, the arrangement of your body, how everything is stacked from your feet. So the heels and balls of the feet, weight is distributed evenly. Slight softness in the knees for buoyancy. That is the position of your hips to your rib cage, to your shoulders, into the crown of the head. So notice what feels like it's forward, what feels like it's back or side to side. Pause and breathe. Okay, and then eyes both open. Step your feet together until they touch. And coming up to a tree pose. So it doesn't matter which side you do, because we always do both. Just bring your foot to your path if you feel super wobbly. Keep toes on the ground. Eye gaze straight ahead of you, just so that we're not loading the neck when you look down. We want to be stacking Head above shoulders and hips. Okay, arms reach up. Extending over head. Release hands and float them out wide. Keep your arms up. So I go still straight ahead of you. And we want the arms just very slightly forward so that they're in your periphery, in your peripheral vision, so that we're not pulling them back. So we want to stay nicely aligned here. And then I gaze floats to one hand or beyond, doesn't matter which side, come through centre and over to the other side. Through centre, sweep arms up, touch at the top, down centre, pause for a moment, I gaze still straight ahead, and then step down, let's come to the other side. So hopefully you're getting a bit of a workout around the glutes and the standing leg as well. Sure, it can't just be me. Find centre first, we've got the other foot coming up. Okay, so feel the alignment of your body. I go straight ahead of you if you can. Don't you look at a, a spot that's not moving, which is not me. Arms rise. We try and keep that standing leg in the centre so that we're not swaying out to the side. That's just something you can be mindful of. 
Both arms wide. Still holding on to the awareness of the alignment of your body. Eye gaze down to one hand or past the fib rather. Through centre and to the other side. Notice how your body is continually responding. Move stable through centre. Breathe arms up. Touch and come down centre. Pause before you pause before you step down. And let's shake it off. So we're just step, step. We're just going to do that exact same thing again. So from centre, feet together, hands to centre. So there's sort of a, an internal awareness of where your centre is. One foot comes up and let's feel the arrangement of your body again. So from the standing foot to your hips and make sure they're not swaying out or sitting back up to the rib cage, shoulders, crown of the head, looking ahead if you can. Arms reach up, open out. Turning to look to one side, through centre and around to the other side, through centre, breathe arms up, come down centre and really smoothly switch to the other side, so step down quietly, other foot comes up. See if we can hold on to that feeling of being centered so we can tame the center line of the body. Breathe up. Exhale out. I gaze around. Center. Out. Center. Breathe up. See how slowly we can come out of the pose and down, center, and sit down, and let's just shake it off. All right, extend arms up. Big full breath in, stretch up tall, and then melt your way down, soften knees, and let your body just hang, spread your toes, feel that the weight is distributed evenly from the balls of the feet back to your heels and into each foot. Hold on to elbows if you like or just let your arms hang. If you want to intensify the stretch, you might be tipping your hips higher, create more length through the backs of the legs and then drop the body just straight down. You can hold still or you can gently sway. It feels good. Okay, and then come and take a seat. And then extend one leg up to diagonal. The other foot tucks in. So we're coming forward, just hands in front of you, and just lean in from there. It's a little bit different to what I normally do. More about exploration. Think about tipping forward from hips, so keeping the back of the leg, uh, sorry, keeping your lower back nice and spacious. For the breath, shift into your back body. Now hands walk over towards the bent knee, so your body leans out over the bent knee. You can be on fingertips, palms, down to forearms, if it feels good. Then come around towards the long leg. Lean in towards it. Doesn't matter how far you come. Just try to hold on to that internal awareness really feel what's happening in your body, feel how the body responds.
Okay, now bring the hands behind your hip and lift your hips off the ground and reach fingers away from the long leg, the one big long line. You can look down or ahead of you or up towards the ceiling. You know what feels best. Hold for an extra breath and we'll slowly lower down. And switch to the other side. So big long, up to the diagonal, other foot tucks in, sitting up tall and pitching your weight forward from hips, hands in front of you. And then coming over the bench knee, leaning in towards it. In all of these poses, notice if your tendency is to let your head hang heavily, gently lifting through the back of the neck, backing about the neck being an extension of the rest of the spine. And loving long line. And then coming out over the long leg. Feel your breath moving in your body. Okay, and then we'll rise. So plant your hand by your hip, push your hips off the ground. Long line up through the leg, up through the body, and out to fingertips. Kind of revolving around that long line. So notice where your head wants to be to keep the neck comfortable. Take one more deep breath in and lower down slowly with the out breath. Take a seat and then come in lie all the way down onto your back just for the last few minutes of a class. Bring your knees up towards your chest. One hand onto each knee, just gently gather in towards you, no force here, no real effort. And then open arms out wide, and line with your shoulders, drop knees over to one side, let them rest there, so have a bit of a wriggle and fidget if you need to, then find stillness, let your shoulders drop open, and very gently lift your head and turn to look away from your knees. Doesn't feel good, find another position for the head. Let your whole body just drop in. Let go of any effort, of any resistance, anything you're holding that's not serving you. We'll come to the other side slowly, so turning the head, so the nose points to the ceiling. Lift the top knee, then the bottom knee. Roll them over to the other side, let them drop wherever it's comfortable, so you can always reposition if you need. Shoulders are heavy, head gently lifts and turns to look away from the knees. Give your full attention to your breathing. Notice how it feels in your body. And notice how your body feels when each breath releases. Coming back through center, turn your head with the top knee and the bottom knee. One hand onto each. And then you can choose a position just for the last about a minute and a half left. You can have your feet to the floor, knees bent up, or you could turn soles of the feet together and let your knees drop open. 
your practice here is to hold your attention in this space in this moment. Notice when your mind is wandering to distraction or to sleepiness. Alert awareness, holding your attention here. Just stay for around two more breaths, all conscious breaths. And then to come back into the day, you might want to stretch out long or bring knees to chest, giving knees, and Either coming straight up or rolling to one side, make your way up into a seated position where we started. Just closing your eyes, settling in. Feel how your body is arranged, aligned, sitting tall, but with that little bit of softness in the chest, the belly, hips. Let's all finish together with another breath. Bring the arms high. Up to the top with the out breath. Come down your center line to land at your heart space. Thank you so much for joining me today.